Hello, once again I am vlogging on a Saturday. Shit man, this is almost like every Saturday in August. This is kind of scary. Um, yes, hopefully this video will be one I can upload to my channel and not have it, have to have it, um, what's it, unlisted out of, you know, work and friend concern. But you never know. Um, once again, it's like really freaking late. At, well, not really freaking late at night. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, it just feels it feels later than it does normally it, it's feeling later than 10 o'clock normally does to me because um, I've been up since 6 this morning because of work and I went to bed at like 2 a.m. so you know um, my I have big exciting news and it involves this little bit yep I graduated today I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around that fact because um, I used not being able to get out of work as an excuse not to go do the ceremony because I was forced against my will because I didn't really want to go to do all of my high school end of year um, leaving like all the end of year sort of leaving ceremony things where the super performers are going and getting all their stuff and leaving all the people who got like school like got awards the school awards like the blues and the golds awards for being really awesome at stuff throughout the year they all had to go to that up on stage and get their little certificates or trophies or whatever but you know I never I never got a fucking thing because I just didn't care I was like I'm here to fill in time and get some skills and learn some shit so I can maybe get into university one day I was like you know I'll just go and um you know I was like why bother wasting the the, the free education why bother wasting it um and having to spend another year and tens of thousands of dollars doing foundation year if I wanted to go into uni. I was like, I'm, well, I can't really do anything else with my time now, so why not? So I sort of did high school, but um, because mum, dad never did fifth form. He like dropped out of school before school cert. Mum sat school cert twice and got it the second time. So she, you know, never got the, the, the um, you know, the big end of, the big seventh form, you know, what used to be UA, which is now MCEA level three some bullshit new system they introduced this in the guinea pig year it, it's like, it was horrible it was just you get it, for example because they were trying to get all the marking schedules right you do an assignment hand it in it would get marked you get it back you're like oh yeah that's an okay mark um basically achieved wasn't achieved was like a c a merit was like a b and an excellence was like an a so you get it back and you'd be like oh yeah Okay, I got like my school would say, okay, we're this is you know too broad, so we're gonna go like high achieved to show like they they sort of did like a little sub thing like okay you got high achieved, so, you know it's like a, a C plus like just off getting a B that sort of thing um, to distinguish the people who just scraped just scraped apart from people who just missed the next grade up. So you get like you know you get like say you did really well you got a merit and then they took. Then they went, oh wait, hang on, half the country failed this, so we have to take them back in the market. Oh my god, it was just an absolute, absolute fiasco. Yeah, I, I'm not going to rage about our ridiculous school system at the moment. There's other times and places for that. But yeah, I did all my high school end of year things, so that was all five. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, all five of them. I had five wonderful evenings of sitting in the Regent Theatre in my horrible, hot, itchy, scratchy, woolly school uniform, the whole jersey, kilt, tie, everything. And I just could not be asked sitting in yet another crowd, wearing yet another funny get-up, for yet another set of hours, for a little trot across the stage. I was like, oh god, dear god, no, please, I do not want to do this. And I was like, wait, I'm not going to be able to get time off work for it anyway, so why the hell not? So I worked today. My graduation day, I worked. That's yeah, kind of sad because I only get one graduation. But meh. Um, so yeah, it was work was an absolute hairy baboon's asshole. It was horrible. We had special rigs for special kids where um, truckies get like it's, uh, I think it's the easiest way to describe it if you're not from Dunedin is um, truck companies get kids with disabilities, um, I'm not sure if it's disability, like physical disabilities and IH or if it's just physical disabilities, get them up in the cabs of trucks, 
drive them around town for a wee bit, which is totally awesome because I mean, a front and a big rig is fucking awesome. And then, um, yeah, then, you know, they go have lunch somewhere. You know, we always, my workplace always donates some lunch and it's like Belgium, Devon, lunch and sausage roll um, for their lunches. So, yeah, there was, so there was the graduation and the special rigs, and so it was just absolutely insane busy. And last night, they didn't really do any slicing, so I had half the cabinet, literally half our cabinet to do this morning. Ugh, so yeah, they're just so fucking tired. But yay, I'm a graduate, yay, and I've got a really pretty sunrise this morning. I was going to come running back here and grab my camera and take a photo of you guys, and I'm like, I'm really fucking late for work, so. There'll be, there'll probably, I'll probably get another nice one next Saturday, and until the sun is getting up a lot earlier than me, I might be able to get you guys some nice sunrise photos. But anyway, got my vivid pen, got my Daruma, I coloured in as first I when I entered university, and now I can colour in the second day, because I have graduated. I got him, my host sister, my first host sister, awesome one, Anzu, got him for me. And I have my little memo here so I can say, um, it's official memorandum of Otago University, University of Otago, Te Whareua Namo Otago, and I can't pronounce that to save myself. Um, I've applied to have my qualification awarded in absentia, and this will be done at the graduation ceremony to be held on 25th August 2012. Today! <laughs> um, it's available for collection. Okay, so Dunedin, so the your certificate doesn't get mounted in transport. They want um, Dunedin Knights to go and collect theirs from the university. And, oh, it's apparently available from Monday 21 May onwards. So it was available there since May. She is for the heads up, but anyway. Even though I don't have the piece of paper in my hot little hands, the ceremony was today. And I'm going to colour as a lion. Let's do this up so you guys can see. This is so awesome. I never actually thought I would do this. I never actually, on, just, I just never thought I'd actually make it to the end of university, to be honest. Um, reading, people reading my blog will probably, people who have been reading it since like 2009 and all this shit, and you have a pretty good idea why I didn't think I'd actually make it to the end of, oh my god, he has both eyes. Oh my god, that is so cool. Up the first one, but it's not quite. It's got to have nice eyes, darn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. He has both his eyes. He has been there. For, he's been like a cyclops for five, six years. Because five years of study and then the year of waiting for a graduation ceremony day. So, six years. He finally has his eyes. Daruma has his eyes. That is so cool. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to start crying. No, I'm not going to start crying. No. Um, and something I did yesterday after my appointment in the morning was um, a, on the way to the, I can't actually say the name of it, otherwise it's going to be an unlisted. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, on my way to the appointment yesterday, um, I before I went, I Google mapped the directions and it's really close to where I live. So I was like, hmm, I'm going to be walking past one, two, three of my, well, three secondhand stores, one of which is like a secondhand clothes shop. There's, then there's the Salvation Army family shop and Shop on Carol, which happens to be one of like my favorite secondhand store in Dunedin. And I was like, hmm. I've still, I still had the money that Grant Nana gave me when she was in hospital saying, you know, go buy it your, 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 for your birthday. I'm not sure if I'm going to live to your birthday. Go get yourself something pretty. And on my way back, I stopped at the Salvation Army place. And there wasn't anything that really flicked out and grabbed me as being awesome and pretty. And then I went to um, Shop on Carol, and they have a volunteer who makes these gorgeous little bags in all sorts of shapes and sizes and colors. And this is a really little one, as you can tell. Like, hand size. And I have tiny hands. I think my face. There we go. But um, I just got a necklace. It's like purple sparkles with a little rosy thing and awesome sauce. And I got a pair of earrings. I think they're amber, I'm not quite sure. They've got little flaws in them. So they look like amber and they're sort of 
but they sort of, they sort of, I don't know, I don't care, they're pretty, and they look like amber, and a little, little brochy thing, which had a little leaf, and a little sparkly goldy thing, a little sparkly goldy type stone in the middle, you can't see it too well on it, far out, epic fails going on here, yeah it's a little sparkly, there we go, you can see the sparkles, and that's probably going to go like on a hat, or something, I don't know, it's a bit small, I normally wear things there, it's a bit small, if I have a small thing, like I normally have a bad, like wear badges or brooches there, sort of like, it makes me, because <laughs> I wear, I wear a name badge for so many hours a week, if I don't have something pinned to the left side of my chest, I feel a little naked, so, you know, I pin something pretty there, instead of, instead of my name label, so that I don't feel quite so naked walking around going, shit, where's my name badge, shit, where's my name badge, oh shit, did I drop my name badge? I'll be like, something on my chest, I'm good. So yeah, it's a bit small, and I found that wearing smaller things on my chest tends to make my boobs look disproportionately large. They're big enough as it is. I don't need optical illusions to make them any bigger. I need, I need the opposite. I need like a big thing, so that next to this big thing, my boobs look tiny. Maybe I should get, say, a flower the size of a small child, Pin it to my chest and walk around going, yes, you cannot see a fucking thing. That would actually be a damn good idea. And back there, you see the fuzzy snossage. Dralian was trying to ooze onto my lap earlier and I was like, I'm kind of busy playing Minecraft, kitty. Yes, my graduation, I was going to come home, open up my bottle of 18 year old scotch I brought back from Japan with me. Whiskey doesn't age in the bottle, so good. But, oh well. I was going to open it up and have, like, really good cheese and really good salami on crackers. But I got, I, I was in such a hurry to get out of work, I was like, fucking get me out of here, that I forgot to get salami. And I was like, I really can't be bothered, like, turning around and walking back across town to work to get salami. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just, you know. I have an earlier start than normal tomorrow, so I'll just drink lots of nice teas and eat whatever the fuck I feel like for dinner and play a bit of Minecraft and watch 300 because I borrowed 300 off my hate so I'm like woohoo! Yes, f um, CGI gratuitous violence. I, I do like action movies quite a lot. I, yeah, I tend to prefer them over, oh god I hate romantic comedies and scary movies just either they're either cheesy or they scare me too much and uh, no I watched I tried to watch people playing let's plays of the game slender and no I couldn't even make it to I, I knew that the slender man didn't spawn in the game until after you found the first note I couldn't even make it to them finding the first note and it probably didn't help that I was watching them um, at like two or three o'clock in the morning and I live by myself and it's all dark and scary and I mean I know the neighbours are like right there and right there and right there and they could hear me scream I mean I watched this guy's let's play and it lasted four and a half minutes I'm like okay cool this is like a, he's going to be posting the game in five minute segments this is going to be sweet he's not going to find any man this one no he found slender man oh, if I see him man he found slender man I screamed like a girl. I screamed like a terrified little girl whose brother is chasing her around the backyard with something gross in his hand. Going, yeah, look at this, I put it in your hair. She's going, yeah, man, you look like a man. Yeah, I screamed like that. And next thing you know, I had both neighbors knocking on the door. Are you okay? We heard screaming. Are you all right? Did you, did you hurt yourself? And I was like, nope. I just watched a scary video. I'm sorry. It was very embarrassing. I mean, they, we can hear each other walk like me and the girl through there and the guy down the guy down there can hear me walking around the guy through there can hear me walking around I can hear him playing his computer games I can tell when he's going really really badly at um, Fallout and um just hear the guys to Fallout <laughs> yeah but yeah we can hear each other doing pretty much anything and yeah when you, when you hear a random scream or a random thump you're instantly like you okay <laughs> What the detail? I got some bandages. <laughs> did you drop a knife on your foot? Or, um, oh shit, did, did you drop something in your head? I heard a very loud thump. Stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, so, um, oh yeah, this is my around the breath. When it's not in my hair. 
pixel. I tried to get even amounts of pink and blue and purple, but there wasn't that much purple at that point in the colorway. So, oh well, but it's pretty. I might have to do something with the ends because this is a rather badly made hand spun. It's going to fray like nothing else. It's going to fray like a socialite when deprived of alcohol and makeup. So I'm probably going to just dip the ends in wax. I don't think fray stop will quite cut it, so I'll just you know carefully dip the ends in some kind of waxy fray stoppy shit. I could just get like hair wax or something. That might work. As long as hair, one more. I've still got quite a high lanolin cast, that's good. Lanolin amount, you can tell when you squish it a wee bit here. It still feels sheepy. Anyway, another 15, 16 minutes of utter nonsense and Daruma. Yeah, that was my first toast family. They were awesome. They found out which day I was going home and drove all the way across to prefectures, like across the prefecture we lived in, and then across um, Tokyo prefecture into where Narita Airport is to come and say bye bye to me. And that was just like we were all at the airport, and I'm like leaving, and I've been up since like four at four five a.m. packing, finishing packing on like an hour of sleep and they're like standing there and my host mum is crying and my host dad is crying and my host sister is crying and the host sister from the second family who ba who was like forced to babysit she didn't like me she was forced to babysit me to the airport and I was like dude you, you don't need to you don't need to come i I've got the map I know what I'm doing if I get lost I can ask people for directions and it was like the first thing they taught us in fifth form is how to ask for directions so I'll be fine you know you don't have to you can like Go to Akiba or Harajuku and shop for a bit. I don't care. Dude, seriously, I don't. Nobody should know yet. But, yeah, and I was standing there. They bought the sick, the sick, the girl who was staying with them after me, Caroline from Australia. She was standing there and like everyone's crying apart from my sickness. This, this Minami, she was sort of standing there texting her, hurry up and get out of here, Gaijin, go away. Sick of your shit, woman. And, um, it was like me and Caroline standing there and we were both sniffling us. Oh, we're gonna cry! She goes, Don't you fucking cry because then I'll start crying too. I was like, mm -hmm. Yeah, they were awesome. I miss them so much. Yeah. I should write to them and tell them I've graduated. I haven't written them to, to them since I moved in here. I emailed them after the earthquakes, but um, I haven't heard from them since. I, my second host family is still at the same place. My first host family moved, so it's a bit tricky getting hold of them, but I don't know. Oh shit, I'm getting all smithly. I'm going to go and have a shower and watch some Gratuitous movie violence. That's gonna be fun. Yes, I, I like it when it's, when it's, uh, I like well choreographed fight scenes where it's people with skill beating the shit out of each other or not. Um, and just large amounts of people with, with weapons hurled at each other. Just, do not like war. War films, no. Nope. Anyway, there's now I've been 20 minutes of crap. Oh my god. I'm sorry, this has just been absolute random bullshit. I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, have a good night, have a good weekend. Um, I will endeavour to read all your blogs and reply to all your comments. I'm sorry I've been so slow with comment replies. My brain is just leaking out my ears at the moment from um, just fucking... Yeah. So, have a good night. Have a good weekend. And that's you all. Behave yourselves. Don't do anything I wouldn't enjoy.